So here, uh, we ha- as we have discussed in the flowchart of the Strudel method, the first step is it is uh, same here also. That is, we need to form the Y bus matrix. That is formation of the admittance matrix. That is Y bus matrix. Then we need to assume the initial bus voltage is V i. Uh, I is equal to one to up to n, but I should not be equal to yes. I should not be equal to yes. And then we need to set the iteration count R is equal to zero. And number of maximum iterations are equal to R max. And first step is we need to for any buses for any buses peak either it may be PV bus or peak bus. Uh, the we need to compute the PI calculated. V PI calculated and we need to again calculate the QI calculated. QI calculated for we need to compute the PI calculated and QI calculated for PV bus and uh, for PQ bus all the buses. So once you compute this PI and PQ for all the buses, we need to compute the mismatch power mismatch matrix that is power which is delta PI and delta QI for R iteration. Delta PI the formula is PI specified minus PI calculated. Similarly, delta QI the formula is QI specified minus QI calculated. So once you compute the power residues, the delta PI and delta QI. We need to determine the maximum of delta PI, PI for R iteration and maximum of delta Q R for R iteration. If the maximum of delta P for R iteration is less within the tolerance value, and if the maximum of delta Q or within the tolerance value, then we need to uh, if it is less, then we need to stop the uh, stop, and we need to. Calculate the line flows, uh, slack bus voltage, and losses in the system, and then we need to display the uh, result. If not, if not, if it is less, uh, less than the, if it is greater than the tolerance value, if it is greater than the tolerance value, then we need to calculate the Jacobian elements. Then we need to calculate the Jacobian elements. Calculate the elements of the Jacobian matrix. So once you compute the Jacobian matrix elements, we need to compute the Uh, delta delta and delta v by using this relation delta 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 v by v for r iteration is equal to jacobian inverse into the power mismatch matrix that is delta p and delta q so once you compute this delta delta and delta v we need to update these variables for uh, r plus 1 iteration so delta of r plus 1 is equal to delta of r plus delta delta of r uh, v of r plus 1 Voltage magnitude for R plus one, R plus one iteration is equal to and uh, V for R iteration uh, plus into delta V. So after this again we need to advance the iteration count. Iteration count R is equal to R plus one and we need to check the number of iterations whether it is reaching the maximum value. Is R is greater than R max? If no, then we need to again go back to this uh, computing of PI calculated and QI calculated. Again, we need to follow the same procedure. If it is yes, then uh, it means that the desired, desired value is not obtained. So we need to display it as no convergence. So this is the flowchart of Newton-Raphson method in polar coordinates. Thank you.